Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more The Legend of Zelda for the NES. In the last part, we took on the level 4 temple, and in this part, we're gonna take on the level 5 temple. But I'm gonna get a couple upgrades first. Now, um, I you will need around a well, at least 108 rupees. And if you're wondering why there's no enemies on the screen, is because I was grinding for rupees off screen. I get back up to 80. And I also bought a magical, not magical, but um, a second potion or red potion at the shop, which cost me like 68 rupees. But then I also um, might want to make sure I waste at 80 rupees before starting this part, because I'm going to show you guys uh, a trick or a um, secret where you can get 100 rupees. So it's over here somewhere, but I'm just going to have to fight through these guys. Might as well pick up these rupees because they, they just dropped rupees. It's like so cool. Um, there's no enemies on the side, so I can arm. I can I can already do this and arm and get shot with an arrow or a spear. Uh, okay, so you want to burn down this bush with your blue candle, like so, and then you can just go in here and it's a secret to everybody. We get a hundred rupees, and I have 183, I believe. So that's pretty cool. 182, my bad. So yeah. Um, next thing I want to do is, what do I want to do next? Oh yeah, I want to get another, I want to get that heart container that's been in the overworld for ever. <laughs> I don't know, it's been there for at least a long time, I know that. And if I can just get a heart or something, there we go, I'll take it. And let me switch back to my boomerang. I'm going to see you guys over, um, it's on the other side of Hyrule, on, on the eastern side of Hyrule. So I'm going to cut there, but I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, we're just about there, but I'm just going to... As you can see, I totally got a lot of rupees just from coming over to the west side of the um, Hyrule map. So yeah, let me just get rid of these enemies. And you can see this heart container is right there. You need the step ladder to get that. You don't, even, you can't even get it with a raft. So keep that in mind. Also, this is the this is I believe the last heart container you can get in on the um, overworld for Hyrule. So keep that in mind. Now, if you just go south one screen, you can actually I'm gonna actually buy the arrows finally for 80 rupees. So yeah. And yeah, buy something, will you? I'll, I'll buy that. I'll buy the arrows. It's nice. So with the arrows, we can we can actually use it with a bow, which is the bow is the first item we got, our first dungeon item, basically our temple item. But um, every time you fire the bow, I'll show this off real quickly. Um, you, you it's gonna cost you one rupee every time you, every time you fire an arrow. So like it's one thirty six rupee. I have one thirty six one hundred thirty six rupees right now. But if I press B, I have one thirty five because I used an arrow. So that's just how that goes. Um, it's just tied to your rupee count too. So I don't know. You you have as many arrows as you do rupees. So keep that in mind. But I'm not gonna just waste another rupee because I don't wanna go bankrupt on my or not lose too many rupees off of nothing, you know? Because I was just I was just showing off for it, how it works and stuff. So um, yeah. What else do we need to do? Mm, oh yeah, we need to get two more items in the overworld. But they're not hard containers. So I think I know where to go. Okay. These enemies are getting on my nerves, so. So I'll cut to again to where I need to be. Because it's kind of in the middle of Hyrule, I think, is where we need to go. Let's see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we're over here where we need to be. I lost a heart in between last cut and this cut, but that's okay. So go down here. We're gonna try to get the power bracelet the next, which is next. Um, which you can move at, like rocks and boulders, which is really cool. That uh, that'll lead to like easy secrets and uh, shortcuts, and it's really cool. Hope you like it. So what you wanna do is it's actually this top right one in the corner. I just activate it, and then there's the power bracelet right there. But then I got I got hurt by an enemy. So there's a power bracelet, so that's good. Now let's try to get the magical sword next, because we need an upgrade from our white sword. We're going into the fifth temple, so kind of need an upgrade on our sword. It'd be nice just to have it, you know? So I'm going to show you guys where to get it, and I hope you guys like it. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Go. It's on this top part of the graveyard, so not this one, but it's this one. And you want to push this grave down, this one right here. And then he'll say, Master using it. And you can have it. Have this. I always say it instead of this, but that's okay. Da 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 da. We got a magical sword, which is really powerful. We don't have a sword lasers though, but that's okay. It's all it's all good. And I just make this ghost go bye bye. Rupees. Okay, cool. This ghost go bye bye. Oh, heart. Yes, nice. 
Okay, so I want to show you off what the power bracelet can do, for example. So let me go over to where I need to be. I don't need to cut to it, of course, it's close by, so that's good. If you go up this one, and you push... Let me get rid of these guys first. At least on this side. Okay, push this down, go right here, and take any road you want. So I think I'm going to take the metal road. There you go, I'm back here. Cross over here again. Oh, I might as well think these guys are defeat these guys. They give off good rupees for some reason. So like I'm getting a lot of rupees. Go and let's go back in. Let's take the very left road next. And this is actually where we need to be. Look at the map right now where we're at. And then when we take the shortcut, we're right over here on the map. That's awesome. These shortcuts, these old man shortcuts are really good. So yeah, let's go up here. And the trick to get to the oh no man, this isn't the right place. My my bad. I want to go over here and then up. There we go, left and then up. Okay, so the trick to get to the level 5 temple is you want to go up this way four times. So one, two, a three, crunch. And no, I'm just kidding, I was referencing the Tootsie Pop commercial. I mean, next is the trick to get to the center of Tootsie Pop. But yeah, once you go four times, um, you'll get to the level 5 entrance or temple entrance, or whatever. Now let's go in. Okay, so this is a long temple. So yeah, let's go to the right. I'm down one and a half hearts, which isn't really good. Okay, so um, these are pole voices, I believe, and they're a new enemy. Uh, you can take them down with um your arrows, which I'm gonna do just so the other way. But also, you want to make sure that you still have hundred rupees, because there's actually an upgrade we're gonna get um in this temple actually. So that's cost hundred rupees. I know it's kind of weird having like a little shop or something to buy in the middle of a temple, but I guess that's how the game creators did it, so it's all good. It should work out great. So again, I'm just gonna I can get two in a row. Well, I don't, don't want to deal with that right now. A good thing they drop rupees though, so that's good. Some of them do at least. So it'll make it for like what rupees you did use. There we go. Gotta make sure I stay above 500 at least though, because I can get the upgrade as I was just talking about. Grab the key. Okay. Gotta go up next. And we gotta use the blue candle because I can. I want to see at least. So that's why I don't have to use the blue candle because I think you can memorize the more full plan. But I'm gonna use the blue candle just so I can see. Switch back to our boomerang. There we go. Heart, nice. This guy obviously is dropping a key. Once you defeat him, yep. Next, defeat with bombs. Okay, this will take a six bombs. These the dongos. I have to be really careful though, because I only have, I can only mess up twice, basically. <laughs> Pressure's on. Dang it, got hit. Oh, very nice. Yes, I got full health now. And I stink at level five temples and beyond throughout the game. Like I sneak at level six, the level six temple, the level seven temple, the level eight temple, and again it's layer. So that's like four, like you know, areas where I stink at, which are really important to defeat and conquer and complete. So that's why I have the red potion. I just really am bad at the, these upcoming temples. Five, six, seven, eight, and Ganon's layer. Okay, so if I can do this right, let's go. Yes, did it. Awesome. Hoping you could drop more bombs for me. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. No, I, a good thing I didn't place the bomb there because he turned. He does that sometimes. I do that sometimes. Awesome. Nice. Do I get more bombs? Yes, I do. Awesome. Okay, so where do we go from here? Um... Hmm. Okay, I think we go up, and then we can grab we grab the map from here. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. We go back down. Down. We want to bomb this left wall coming up. Let me do that. Okay. 
Okay, fine, we have to defeat these guys. These guys aren't too hard to defeat, so that's good. Hit me down, hit me down, hit me down, hit me. It's good, I'm gonna get hit. More bombs, okay. Cool. So, what do we do next? We bomb this wall too. Switch over back to my boomerang. There we go, nice. Okay, oh no. Do I have to defeat these guys? I don't think I have to. Wait, do I? I think I do. Should I do? And I got rid of my sword lasers. These are the harder versions of the Dark Knot because they're blue instead of orange. So they're more tough, harder to kill, which is just great. And they take a heart every time you get hit. Come on, just let me hit you. A oh, heart, yes, nice. I scooped it. I, I sniped that heart. I snuck it. I don't even know what I'm saying. I swiped it, I should say. Oh my gosh, I stink at defeating these things. I want to use my potion this early, though, too. You just don't. Gosh dang it, I'm so, I'm so nervous I'm gonna mess up. Gosh dang it. No, I wanted to defeat you, you're the last one. You're the last one, man. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna have to use my potion. Good thing I get two, but I didn't want to use my red potion this early in the dungeon. The temple. Like seriously, I didn't want to. Now quickly before I press B again by mistake and use my blue potion, my other, another potion I don't need because I have full health already. Because I've actually accidentally used a blue potion after I healed up with a red potion. I got full health and it totally just counted as using it and I lost it. But I'm not going to make that same mistake again. I'm switching over back to my boomerang. I get my sword lasers back though, so that's good. There we go. I <sighs> didn't want to use my potion this way, but what are you going to do? I'm just terrible at this game. I'm not that good at this game. I've said that so many times now. Come on, you keys die. There we go. Keys are so annoying in the Legend of Zelda games. They're just so annoying. I don't, I don't like them at all. Okay, so what do we do from here? Go down the steps. No, we don't. Uh, hmm. Can we go over here? I'm not sure. I'm looking at my notes and I'm not seeing anything. I lost track of my notes. Dang it! I'm guessing we just go over here. We use the key right here. Okay. Oh no! More dark knots. More dark knots. No, this is not fair, you guys. You guys are so mean. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. Shoot, I lost my sword lasers. Crap. Oh no. Oh, this sucks. These, oh my gosh. I am so in trouble right now. They are after me. They are out to get me. They are out to get me. I am so messing up right now. Oh my gosh. Just stop. Drop a heart or a fairy or something. I doubt they're gonna do that because they want to make the game difficult and stuff. But that's okay. If it's an NES game. It's unf It's not forgiving really. This is why it's really important to have the magical sword sword right now, so that it takes less hits to kill these dark nuts. But um, as you see, I can. St I'm still struggling. My gosh. No. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to use my blue push. This is such a hard room. Nah, he's out to get me as soon as I... I got hit. I gotta book it. I gotta book it as soon as it's done filling up. There you go. I'm so bad at this game. I got my sword laser back though, so that's awesome. If I can just get kill one of them with my sword lasers, there we go, that's awesome. Three, well, two to deal with instead of three is better in my case. In this case. Okay, see, this get this. These are what these are easier to handle up there. I have, I have a sword laser.
There we go. So we gotta push this block down next and go down the staircase. Okay, this dungeon item or temple item is a recorder. So it's actually gonna come in handy when fighting the boss later on this temple. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. So let's go this way again. I'm guessing we go down this way then. Use a key though. Okay. Oh shoot, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, all these keys. Gotta grab the key, so that's good. So that's we do have to I don't know. Bombs right wall, okay. I'm looking at my nuts again. Okay, so there we go. Let's just bomb this right wall. What the heck? Oh, okay, I thought it didn't work for a second. Like, I bombed the right wall, didn't I? Okay, I bet you would like to have more bombs. Of course I do. This is why you wanted to have 100 rupees for this dungeon to get this upgrade. Now we can hold up 12 bombs instead of just 8. That's pretty cool. But yeah. Um. Left and then. Hmm. Okay, we gotta go this way again. We gotta get rid of all these keys. right here. Oh, stop watching. Okay, we gotta go right again. Gotta use the candle again. There we go. Gotta defeat these guys. So, um, I guess we go up. Okay, I got you. Got to defeat these guys. I guess we defeat these guys. I don't remember. We skip this room or not? Dang, I got hit. I don't know where to... It's over here. I don't think we have to defeat those debon debon de the dongos. There we go. I'm just gonna move over to this room and hopefully hope that's the right way. Yeah. If you guys could drop a heart or something, that'd be nice. Dang it. Just trying to... Come on, go over here. Well, heart, yes. I can just attack you. Go and scrap that rupees. And there we go. We gotta defeat these enemies just so they're out of the way. I'm gonna choose to defeat them. This way. I don't know, we don't need to go this way actually, so let's go up. Okay. 
come. Ah, no, Dark Nuts again. Not the harder version, but like it's still Dark Nut. We have to defeat them. I'm gonna see if I, I can just cheat and like do this. Like, I don't think they can reach me. Come on. Oh, they're, they're trying to act all smart and stuff, which is kind of working, but. If I can just do that, yeah. Okay, now that I got my sword laser back, I can just do that. Grab the compass. Gotta go up. That blue candle again. Switch up to a bow again. This whole voice that we have to deal with. Okay, if I can just. Oop, I'm just trying to get the pole voice. Go. Okay, cool. That works. Okay. So, what do we do next? Bombs, I'm gonna pick it up anyway because I, I don't like how there's just an iron one screen that you can just grab. A fairy, nice. If I can just get down there, that'd be great. There we go. Okay. Key. Gotta go left. This room we can completely skip, um, because we have enough keys, but I want to just get rid of these poor voices because I think they drop a key afterwards if you defeat them all. Oh, I got three in a row. It's awesome. Fail. <laughs> Go. Okay. You can also defeat the poor voices with your sword, it just takes a bit longer. And I don't think you dropped a key. Oh man, I thought you dropped a key. Let's just go here then. I think here's the boss. Yeah, here's the boss. So what you want to do is pull out your quarter that you got earlier in this dungeon, or temple. I guess I guess a temple more than dungeon. Gosh dang it. I keep on getting that mixed up. So hit twice with your sword, like so. And there you go. Let's grab the heart container and get out of here. Yeah. Let me switch over to my boomerang, just because I like having my boomerang out as my B item mainly. As my main B item. And I can grab the Triforce, the piece of Triforce, and we can get the heck out of here. Awesome. I think that went quicker than the last part, actually, because I wasn't struggling as much. I didn't mean to go back in, dang it. <laughs> and by the way, that's the, the inside, it's just puke green. That's so appealing, not really. I like that one in level 3, I think, was the cooler green color that I really liked. But yeah, this has been the end of my Legend of Zelda for the NES Let's Play part. In the next part, we'll take on level 6. Temple, and then hopefully get some more stuff. Again, there are no more heart containers in the overworld in Hyrule, so keep that in mind. We're gonna get the rest of our heart containers through just temples. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, level six dungeon or temple is coming up. So yeah, this has been Draco again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Let's Play Legend of Zelda for the NES Let's Play.